What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate playbook. You know, pretty much I'm not going to give you the plays that I use or whatever like that. I'm just going to show you how to make custom playbooks because a lot of people play franchise mode um, and rank games. Unfortunately, EA hasn't made it so that you can use it in ultimate team, you know, for various reasons. It's, it's, it would be a lot more complicated to allow custom playbooks in um, ultimate team based on just the way like if you go into tournaments whatever like that the cat is just a lot more complicated so that's why they let you use base playbooks but for guys that are in franchises guys that play ranked games things like that you should have a, you should always have um, a custom playbook no matter what even if you're a, a, a beginner mediocre whatever bro average experience whatever you should always have a custom playbook just to have it so we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna do this is the, this is for offense. So pretty much it doesn't matter. This is um it's been the same way since um Madden 25 PS3. Uh, this is next gen on PS4. I'm showing you same thing for Xbox One. It's the same kind of you know same kind of setup, same formula. You go to uh, custom playbooks. You just pick a playbook. Bam, right here. Okay, this shows you the audibles and everything that's already in the playbook. Um, you should start with a playbook that you use the majority of the plays with. Like for me, I use several different offensive playbooks. So I'll go in there and I'll see the ones that I want. You know, you know, you look at it. Okay, I'm gonna use iPhone Pro, whatever like that. And you look at the Audible section, so you know what's in there. From the My Playbook section, you could just start deleting the whole the whole things that you don't need. Like say you don't use iPhone Pro. All right, you would just press Triangle if it's a PS4. I don't know whatever the um, Xbox One uh, thing is that corresponds to it, but you'll see it on the bottom where it says Remove All Plays. And you'll just go through it and you'll remove all the plays. So I removed all the iPhone uh, iPhone Pro. I'll remove all the iPhone type. You know, the things that you don't need. You go to shotgun, you know, try I don't use empty tray, triangle, or whatever it is for Xbox One or Xbox 360, and you remove it. Alright? You can see on the bottom right that it shows the play count. Every time you delete plays, it'll it'll just continue to decrease. So I'm gonna delete empty trips, um, you know, triangle or whatever your button is for Xbox, and you'll see it goes from 312 to 300. All right. So you want to get rid of all the things you don't use, and then start to add the things in that you do use. All right. That that that's the biggest thing about it. You don't want ex ex uh, excess plays because then you're sitting there trying to figure out what you want to do, and it becomes a whole load of crap. So you want to get rid of as much as possible. Like my playbooks, very simplistic. It has the plays that I need. Nothing else. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You want to go in there with about 200 and something plays. Your ba your base runs, your uh, whatever you run with your, your passes. You know, you, you know your hot route plays that you like to do stuff with. Everything like that. That's how you want to go into a game. You don't want to go in there with like a thousand plays and you, oh yo, what is it? No, you don't want to do that. You're not a real coach. You're not walking around with a cardboard thing like Chip Kelly and stuff like that. You want to make sure you got only what you need. All right. Once you get rid of it, so we'll get rid of flip trips too, just to show you. It says 300, we got rid of flip trips, now it's 291. All right, so you keep on doing that for all the formations you don't want, and that's found in the My Playbook section, all right? Then you go over to All Plays, all right? Now say you want to use FAR from Pro, all right? To add a play individually, you just press X. Automatically, this is activated to your playbook. That's it. And you just go down and pick the plays you want. You want to counter, press X, whatever like that. And you do this for every formation. You want to pick something from, you know, shotgun with uh, five wide receiver trio. Bam. That's in your playbook now. Whatever. X. And you'll see it increase on the side. And it'll show you how many plays you have in the set and your play count. All right. The same thing for defense. It's the same exact thing on how you create your custom playbooks. Now, once you have all your new plays in, you're going to go over to the audible section. And you're going to see we just added some far pro. You're going to go press X on it. You're going to press X for your box audible or whatever the uh, Xbox 360 or Xbox One is. Then if you want to put the dive there, you go to dive, you press X. Now that's your audible. You want to switch your audible for L1? Okay, make it the Z option. Now that's your audible. All right? You're going to press whatever the corresponding button is to save it. Um, on the PS4, it's the, uh, the options button. Whatever it is, it'll show you on the bottom left. EA Sports has done, done us a favor with that to at least make that easier for everybody to know what's going on. So it shows you on the bottom what to do. So you would simply press options for PS3, I mean for PS4. Um, and then you, these are the names of my old playbooks. Um, you know, spread them, brown eye and back half. Don't judge me. Those are the names of my playbooks. It is what it is. You would click on new, obviously. Name it. Save it. That's it. You got a custom playbook. After you make your custom playbook, to equip it, 
I'm gonna go ahead and just quit without saving because I'm gonna assume that you guys understand it. It's the same thing for defense. You would pick the same things, remove the same plays. Very, very simple. Um, after you do all that, you're gonna wanna go to the help settings. You're gonna wanna go uh, to the settings right there. And then you're gonna go to game options. And then this is gonna set your offensive playbook. So whatever your offensive playbook that you just created, whatever you name it, like I'm using spread them right now, as in spread them cheeks, and I'm using my defensive playbook from the back. You would just go through it back and forth, back and forth, and then that'll be it. You have it set. Once you once you back out of it, EA automatically saves it, and you're done. You got a custom playbook, and that's it. I hope this tutorial has been you know helpful to someone. Uh, I should have put it out a lot earlier. Usually I put it out in the first month. I didn't. I, you know I completely forgot about it. But someone asked me to do it yesterday, and I'm a man of my word. It's out there. I hope it helps someone to create a monster playbook for all the things that you want to have in there. For defense, definitely have definitely use four three and three four. Um, on offense, definitely have some of those pistol runs in there. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the strong powers, the counters, things like that. Mix it up a little bit and create the ultimate playbook, man. Um, if you're new to my channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe. I do a lot of Madden commentaries. I stream on Twitch. I do a lot of different things. Check out G Minus World. Google it. It's a big thing out there. See what's going on with it if you want to join the movement. Until next time, it's always one love.